So one of the things that our customer for Poncho Villa requested was a panoramic sunroof. Um, I did a lot of research so far as I've seen, nobody's ever done a panoramic sunroof in a 79 Ford crew cab. Um, so I did a lot of research, did a lot of looking. Um, I found a sunroof out of a 23 Tahoe that I think will fit. I spent a, a day, day and a half driving around from dealership to dealership just measuring sunroofs on all different kinds of cars to see, to see what one would be our best fit. Um, the cab's not quite long enough to do a panoramic sunroof out of a, out of a newer Ford. Um, it'll take up too much space, so we needed something just a little bit smaller. And in all my research and all my uh, crazy driving around looking at sunroofs at dealerships, uh, I found a sunroof out of a 23 Tahoe that I think will do the trick. Um, so what we got to do, uh, first of all, is we're going to have to uh, measure it out, figure out where it's going to go, what kind of structure we got to put in, uh, how the sunroof mounts to the, to the cab of the Tahoe originally. Um, and how much room it's going to take, where our motors are going to sit, everything like that. We got to build a template uh, for our hole that we're going to cut based on the sunroof itself. We've got one coming in uh, from Florida. We, we ordered on eBay and it should be here hopefully in the next week or two. And uh, once it gets here, then we'll start doing all of our measuring and making our templates and uh, getting ready to cut a hole in the roof of this thing. B pillars where they're supposed to be and then I'm gonna cut out all the the support for the for the roof Well, you can take this to church. <laughs> I built this framework right here, which is what the sunroof is going to bolt to, and it's contoured to match the sunroof and the roof, and it's already got the rib nuts to hold the the uh, to bolt the sunroof to and it's been measured out to exactly the right size, the thickness, so that the sunroof sits exactly where it's supposed to. So uh, yeah, I use this and I put it on the roof and figured out where I wanted the roof, where I wanted the sunroof to be. It's farther back than I'd like, but uh, turns out that the Tahoe sunroof, all the motors and everything are on the front. So the front is the, all the, the work's gonna be in the front of it, so I had to make a little bit of adjustments. So it's where it should be. It's just, I wanted it farther forward on the roof. I wanted it to be uh, like up in this area. But uh, as far as if you look at any other sunroof there, it's about where it's supposed to sit. I just wanted it to be different. But, so I put that up here and I marked out this. So this is the inside of our framework, the outside. So when we do it, I want the, I want the framework to, uh, to stick out halfway past where my marks are at. That way when I put the new sheet metal on, it will also attach to the framework. And that way I can keep everything straight and the contours right and everything like that. And then I've got a bunch of uh, brackets that I made that'll come in right like that. And then they'll attach to the, to the outside of the cab and then attach to the framework so that everything stays stiff and the, the sunroof doesn't, uh, doesn't move around. Now the other thing you gotta be careful though on these sunroofs is if you, if you make your framework too stiff then if the cab twists or flexes at all, it just, it breaks the glass on the sunroof. So it has to be stiff enough, but not too stiff. There has to be give in it, movement. You're right about it here, huh? So it's actually a thing amongst the new Super Duties. They have some of them that are too stiff and uh, they're driving them down the road and they'll go over a bump or something like that and the sunroof glass will just blow right out of it. Well, I've, I've heard of that, but yeah. I didn't realize that was why. Yep, yep. At least that's, that's what I'm assuming. I, nobody's told me that, but oh. based on what I know, that's what I think. Okay. 
I've already got it marked out where it's going to cut, but I'm not going to cut out this whole thing. So I've got to go and put a line in the middle here uh, where I'm actually going to cut it. And then we've got our, our bracket, our, our framework for the sunroof. And then once I get it cut out, then we'll put the, the framework in there and start attaching it to the, to the cab so that it'll hold the sunroof. And then once we get that done, then we're going to come back in with new sheet metal and uh, uh, make it to where it fits the actual sunroof because the sunroof obviously isn't square. It sits inside here and it's got, you know, rounded edges and all that. So I got to, we'll have to do all that. But for now, we're just going to cut the supports out and then cut a big hole in the roof. They don't make these roof skins. So once we cut the hole, there's no going back. Oh boy. <laughs> That sucked. There it is. Big old damn hole. I hope I measured right, huh? Hells yeah, baby. Hells to the yeah. It's not permanent, it's not like you're looking at things. But. Cool. Now hopefully everything else works out the way I want it to. In the process of doing this sunroof, uh, it kind of came to my attention that chances are there's going to be a lot of people out there that have these old Fords that are going to want to do the same thing. So in the process of doing this, um, I have gone out of my way to make sure and make everything we've done in here easily repeatable so that uh, in the future when we get other people that want sunroofs, uh, we'll either be able to tell them how to do it, show them how to do it, or or they can bring it to us and we can do it for them. Um, it is a lot of work um, and you would have to, you know, basically strip the cab down most of the way to make it, to make it happen, um, but it's doable. And in the process of doing all this, I've got some measurements, I've got templates for my little, you know, brackets for the framework. But the biggest one, the most important one is this template right here, which is an exact template of our uh, sunroof and the gasket so that uh, every single time we need to do one, we don't have to have a sunroof sitting here right away to get started on it. So if we have to order a sunroof, wait for it to come in with this template now that we've got it, um, we can duplicate the sunroof over and over again. Okay guys, so after hours and hours and hours upon weeks upon weeks of uh, measuring and cutting and fitting and trimming and making it work, we finally got our sunroof ready to go. It took quite a bit longer than I was expecting, but uh, I think the finished product is uh, fantastic. Looks great. Um, so what we had to do is we went in, obviously we built the frame. We talked about that before. Uh, got the frame all in there and then we had to come in and fill in our, uh, our sheet metal around the edges. So I went through and I made these pieces 
Uh, I used a bead roller to get my, my lip right here. Uh, we have to have the lip on the side right here for the gasket to seal. Uh, so I used a bead roller, a uh, shrinker, stretcher, and a whole lot of hammering and dollying to get, this, uh, to get these radiuses in here with this lip for our gasket to sit against. Um, so the whole outside's finished. We got a little bit more metal work we got to do uh, and some dents in the hood that are in the roof that were here already that we've got to work on. Uh, but essentially it's all done and ready to go. The sunroof fits great. Uh, on the inside, we got a few more things to do to, to make a difference for the motors. So when I got this sunroof, uh, I wasn't paying real close attention in the, uh, the motors I thought were gonna be in the back. But it turns out the Tahoe sunroof, uh, or in the Tahoe, the motors are in the front. So we had to come in and trim this out and I'm gonna have to, to rework this to give myself a different angle here so our motors will fit behind it. Uh, and then also I gotta come in and pipe in uh, drain tube for all four corners for the for the sunroof to drain when it when it rains uh, but other than that we're pretty much ready to go a couple more bolt holes get the sunroof in here do some finish work and uh, on to the next step